Hi, in this lesson, note-taking skills will be covered. Importance of note-taking. Why take notes? As presentation and seminar skills lesson instructed previously, in lectures and during the discussion and TOEFL or IELTS exam, note-taking helps you to concentrate on what is being said and provides you with a summary. Taking your own notes will promote a deeper under understanding of the content. You can also take notes from a written source, which will help you in understanding and writing about the text. You can include notes showing your own thoughts about a written source or a lecture to ascertain how you are going to use the information in your essay. When taking notes, you can reduce the amount of language by shortening words and sentences. Some ways of abbreviating are, one, leaving out most articles and conjunctions, for example, the, a, and, and but. Two, shortening words by leaving out vowels or other letters. This is also known as word truncation. Three, using abbreviations and symbols for commonly used words and phrases. It is important to remember that you will need to know what the abbreviations and symbols stand for when you review your notes later. Actually, an interpreter uses many different abbreviations when taking notes. Did you know that? Here are some strategies for making the abbreviations. First, use only abbreviations and symbols that fit your needs and that you will remember easily. Using too many abbreviations can make your notes difficult to understand. Second, be consistent so that the same symbol or abbreviation always means the same thing. Otherwise, your notes may become ambiguous. Third, keep a separate list of your abbreviations and the meanings so that you can refer to them if you need to do in the future. If you start using a new abbreviation, add it to the list. And here are some examples of abbreviations. More examples of the symbol. Now, let me introduce a Kono Notes. Have you taken notes in Kono Notes style? If so, please recall how you did and update according to your study style. For those who have not tried to use Kono Notes, I strongly recommend to take notes by using Kono Notes style with the following steps. One, record. While you read a text, use the note-taking column to record what to understand in a text. You may, of course, write down keywords and the definitions. Two, questions. After you read the text, formulate questions based on the notes in the right-hand column. Writing questions helps you to clarify meanings, reveal re relationships, establish continuity, and strengthen memory. Also, the writing of questions sets up a perfect stage for exam studying later. Three, recite. Then cover the note-taking column with a sheet of paper. Then, looking at the questions or cue words in a question and cue column only, say aloud in your own words the answers to the questions, facts or ideas indicated by the cue words. Four. Reflect. Reflect on the material by asking yourself questions. For example, what's the significance of these facts? What principle are they based on? How can I apply them? How do they fit in with what I already know? What's beyond them? If you cannot answer, you can go back to the reading. 
Five, review. Spend at least 15 minutes every week reviewing all your previous notes. If you do so, you will retain a great deal for current use as well as for the exam. This is how the Cornell notes look like. You can buy Cornell style notes at bookstore or you can make by adding some lines in your notebook. If you prefer to take notes with your laptop, you can also create this style of the uh, notebook or the, the screen by using your favorite applications. Now let me explain from the top of the notes. The top of the page is filled out correctly with the class, date, unit title or headings, and page numbers. Next, the left-hand column only contains questions and subheadings. The right-hand column contains main ideas from the text, opinions with supporting evidence, sources and author names, if you researched some related information, and key vocabulary with definitions in English. The summary at the bottom of the page is intended to summarize what you read based on the writing above. The summary has at least four sentences and the summary does not contain quotations or text copied from the book. You need to paraphrase the main points with your own words. Now, I hope you have understood the basics of how to use Kono note taking system and also how to use abbreviations and also create abbreviations of your own. If you want to learn more about Kono notes, please go to the Learning Strategy Center of Kono University for a brief description. Or you may learn from other sites available online. In order to apply what you have learned today, Please read the course book chapter four, Political Globalizations, pages from 90 to 92, Antarctica and Antarctic, and complete the note-taking exercise and summary by using Kono note-taking style. The template of Kono note is available on Manaba, but you are also welcome to create your own template as I explained earlier. Important, please submit your note-taking exercise files onto Microsoft Teams file named Week 3, Corner Notes, Chapter 4, not on Manaba. This is because I want you to review other classmates' notes for developing your note-taking skills. Dues for Friday classes scheduled on Wednesday, 13th of May, 5 p.m. and Tuesday class members Please be careful, your submission date is scheduled on Saturday, 16th of May, 5 p.m. Okay, good luck.